I'm Angela Wolf, fashion designer and online instructor. And in this lesson, we're gonna make a square sweater. You might remember last season, I made a circle and we added two sleeves. Well, this is even easier. This is a square of fabric and all we did was attach sleeves. So there's no other seams. Let me show you how easy this is to do. First of all, find your favorite top that you like the fit of the sleeve and cut out two sleeves from this fabric. This is a stretch knit, so I just grabbed a pattern for my stretch, one of my t-shirt tops, and cut the sleeves out. For the draping, you could have any size square that you want. This is one width of fabric, so I think it's about 62 inches wide, and this is, I believe, 29 inches. But it could be longer. All of those were different. So the, what you wanna do is find the center, and I have a fold right there. So this is the center back. And I'm just gonna drape this. If you have a dress form, if you have a body form, if you have a friend, you could use them too. But what you wanna do is just kind of figure where you want this, how high of a neckline. On all of these, the collars are different. So if you want the collar to be higher, lift this up and see where you like this. That's kind of cute. So this is the key. You can't just lay this down and cut the sleeves out because we don't have shoulder seams. So because the knit has a little drape, you have to mold this where this is nice and flat through here. If you have it and it's kind of like this, it's not gonna fit. Your sleeves will always be drooping. So instead, pull this over and this looks really nice. All right, let's see, the drape looks great. So the next thing I wanna do is I'm going to cut out my sleeve. And all I'm gonna do is, actually I'm gonna take two pins and hold this fabric in place on each shoulder. Feel where your armhole is. Start small, so cut the circle smaller. Don't start too large or your sleeves won't fit. And what I wanna do here so I can see that's where my armhole is going to be. All right, still looks great. Let's mark the other side. If you really want it to be exactly the same, I could just take that off, lay it on the here, and just cut the other armhole. That's fine too. But on this side, I'm just gonna give myself a little basis of where to start. So I can feel that shoulder seam. And I'm just gonna cut like that and leave it so I can match those up. So by the way, if you wanted a vest, you could finish these armholes and you're all finished. But I wanna go for the whole sweater. So what I wanna do is I wanna take one of these sleeves that I've cut out, I have a little X on it to show that it's the wrong side, and I just wanna measure this to make sure that it's going to fit. So there's the bottom. One thing you might wanna give yourself, because once this fabric goes all over, it's really hard to tell what part is what. Let's just say that would be a side seam, that's your side. And right here is the top of your shoulder. Give yourself a couple notches. It's the only way you're gonna figure this out. And the only other thing I'm gonna do is give myself two little notches to remind myself that's the back. That doesn't mean the back notches are necessarily going to match my sleeve, because this comes from a different pattern, but hey, that was pretty lucky. It actually does. So if I wrap this around, wow, that notch matches great too. All right, and if I just kind of finger move this around, it looks like my sleeve is gonna match great. So the next step that I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna show you on the table first because we're gonna go over to the sewing machine. You have to sew your sleeve in first. And with knits, you can use, actually clips are probably a little better than pins, but for me, showing you on here, I'm just gonna use a couple pins to hold this in place. I'm going to sew the underarm seam with right sides together, and then we are going to sew this Make sure that I have the right sleeve here. We are going to sew this into place. So let's go to the sewing machine. Couple of tips for sewing with knits here. I'm just gonna change the presser foot pressure on here. I'm gonna decrease it to a one. You can test your stitch to make sure, but I've already tested it, so I know. The other thing is I just can use a straight stitch on this one because I'm using a thread that stretches. If you don't have a thread that stretches, you have to use a little zigzag stitch, but the stretch has a little thread or stretch and so I'm good to go. Do a little back stitch and now I'm just gonna stitch this whole sleeve seam. If you have a serger, you could run this through the serger as well. And then the nice part of most knits is that they don't fray. So I don't have to worry about finishing this seam after I sew it. 
stitch all the way down. So while you're here, you would sew both of your sleeves at the same time, it just makes it faster. But I'm just gonna do one side for you. All right, let's see. Our seam looks really nice and because the thread stretches, this stretches, which means that when I put this on, I'm not gonna rip out stitches. So let's get back up and go to our dress form. And this just helps me, I'm gonna throw a couple of pins in here. This just helps me to know where everything is once I take this off. Cause trust me, you just have a big piece of square fabric. So a couple of pins here, and then I'm going to take this entire piece back to the sewing machine and we're gonna sew in that entire sleeve. One more thing before I sit down there, I just wanna show you. On the sleeve, I forgot to mention this cause you're gonna be wondering. This one we only cut a little bit. So before I would sew that sleeve in, I would fold this over and match up that circle and cut the other side to be exact, exactly the same, okay? But I'm not gonna do that here. So I'm gonna go back here. All right, we're gonna sew the sleeve in, but I have one more thing to tell you on this. If your fabric has a lot of stretch, like where your armhole's drooping, use clear elastic and sew that in at the same time. This one isn't too bad, but on the sweaters behind me, two of those, the blue one and the peach one needed this. And I'll, first I'm just gonna stitch a little bit and then I'll show you how to add that in, just in case you have to put some in. So all I'm doing is, let's see here, make sure I have this right. I just have my sleeve side up, which is fine. Usually I sew with the sleeve side down, but in this little hole here, it's really hard to do that because I can't see. And I'm just gonna stitch, making sure that I match up my shoulder notch that I made and the shoulder notch with the sleeve. That's really important. Even though the sleeve came from a different pattern, the shoulder needs to match, or when you put your top on, your sleeve will kind of skew the wrong way. All right, I'm just gonna stitch around. Also, if your fabric doesn't stretch a lot, but you're worried that the armhole is going to stretch out, the main place that it stretches is underneath because it's not cut on the grain line. It's cut on a bias or kind of a skewed bias, I guess you would say. So let me get a little bit further here. All right. I'm gonna stitch my entire sleeve in, but I just wanna give you one little portion here. If I wanted to add the clear elastic, you would do a few stitches and then just lift your presser foot up and you would stitch right through that clear elastic. And just watch my hand. I'm not pulling on this, I'm just allowing this to sit and I'm stitching right on top of it as if it wasn't even there. All right, I'm getting back to the front seam. Again, I'm not pulling, I'm just laying this and letting that stitch. And I'll leave notes on where to find this stuff on the website so you can find it in case you're wondering what this clear elastic is. So that looks pretty good. So let's get back up here and I wanna cut this off and let's just hang this back on the lady. First of all, I can see that my sleeve looks pretty good in there. I could trim the seam allowance, but we're not going to. I'm just gonna throw this back on here. If I could figure out which end is up. And there's our sleeve. One more sleeve on there and our square sweater is finished.